the number of deaths by suicide and suicidal attempts are on the rise. Of 623 cases recorded over the past year, including teenagers and minors, 82% are male. Dr. Kalumbi Shangula says the rising suicide rate can to a large extent be explained by untreated mental health conditions. Many suicides happen impulsively, he says, in moments of crisis where a person experiences a breakdown in their ability to deal with life stresses, including financial problems. Some mental health conditions are also associated with an increased risk of suicide. Persons with depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia especially have a high propensity to suicide. Apart from mental health conditions, contributing factors to suicide include substance abuse, chronic health issues, persistent pain, or physical disabilities. Feelings of isolation or helplessness and negative life events. So individuals in these categories warrant close monitoring for suicide prevention. The Ministry of Health and Social Services commemorated Suicide Prevention Awareness Month in the capital under the theme Creating Hope Through Action. As part of efforts to mitigate suicide, the ministry has established a multi-sectoral committee, the National Suicide Prevention and Treatment Action Group, which means to assist in raising awareness about the services available and encourage people to seek help. The acting country representative of the World Health Organization, Dr. Mary Brantu, said the estimated suicide rate globally is staggering. Globally, an estimated 700,000 people die by suicide each year, among which 77% of their deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. These global suicide rates are a serious public health concern, and every life lost to suicide creates a devastating impact to families, communities, and nations. The suicide rate in the African region is the highest in the world, with an age standardized rate of approximately 11 per 100,000 compared to 9 per 100,000 population at the global level. The minister lit a candle of hope as a tribute to the lives lost. Yoleni Shiapela, NBC News, Vanduk.